restaurants and movies appear, amusement parks and ocean piers, or we're built in love by family. Atlantic City's face, a changing place, time to lead the way. See the old become the new. Remember yesterday. Rolling chairs and Charlie cars, Ferris wheels and movie stars. For we're built and loved by family. Atlantic City, my hometown. to the Postcard Show. We're your hosts, Joseph and John Polo. We flip postcards onto the screen and explain uh, Atlantic City's postcards to the people, past, present, and future. And behind us, you see the picture of the resort as it is last year or two, a couple years. Things have changed on that. Uh, that's why we show the postcards, so you can understand the changes that have occurred in Atlantic City. We'll go right to the postcards and we'll show you our first postcard that was 1954. And uh, John will explain what this postcard is and what people should do if they enjoy the show. Right. Start your VCRs and tape these shows because these are the cards that you'll see when you're out there and you'll know which ones to get. So this was the 1954 Atlantic City Centennial and Diamond Jubilee of Light. It means the invention of the electric light in America by Thomas Edison. And they had lights on every building, just like this, as you can see, from the Haddon Hall to the President or the Ritz. And they lit the fountain and put out another postcard. They just recently in the city of Atlantic City have relit the Apsecan Lighthouse right here. It's lit now and forever, I guess for some time. This is like the third time they've relit it, but uh, nobody knew about it. I think more people would have been there if they would have told people to be there, but they didn't. So, well, they're the we colorful. Want to, we want to go to the modern postcard of the 50s and the 60s. And uh, what we, had, what we call them glossies. Right. Now, if that's not a beautiful photograph of the city of Atlantic City from the air. I don't know what to say. <laughs> this Space Needle is gone. There's Resorts International, Sun International now. All right. Steeplechase Pier with it. This is Steeplechase Pier here. How about here? 
Oh, I'm sorry. What's this one? Oh, Central Pier, right. This is Central Pier. This, this is Central Pier. This is Steeplechase Pier, Steel Pier, and Garden Pier. Now, Garden Pier has been re redone. As you can see how old this picture is, the urban renewal track is clear, and there's nothing past Haddon Hall on the seaside. So what you have is the urban renewal still cleared. This is the M where MGM is going to go in now. But in the old days, there's the jetty that's stopping all Atlantic City scene. So if you watch this jetty and you watch this beach grow all the way out to here, you'll know where all this sand from Atlantic City went when it went south. Wildwood. So the next picture, the next picture would, would be, be from the a side of a pier. From the side of a pier. About that ocean front, there's a couple of local guys. All right, there's a couple of the lifeguards down here rowing out to do a layout. You can see the beach is nice. It's all like medium tide. We tried to look up in here and see where we're at here, but we really can't tell without a magnifying glass. It appears to be like in front of the dentist at like Michigan Avenue. There's more lifeguard stands to set up. So probably South Carolina Avenue in the beach. The lifeguard sits here. The boat sits here. If there's a rescue, they make the rescue. You can see the steel pier and the steeple chase. These are the postcards that the were sold during the 50s and 60s and 70s. We call them glossies. That is one of the Sarkis brothers here. Right, looks like John Sarkis yeah, here. I don't know. A couple of lifeguards, Atlantic City guys, nice, what is it, a Van Sight boat or Van Dyke? Van Dyne. Van, Van Dyne lifeguard boats. The family makes them over the years, very good. Yeah. Some people buy them personally to use. There's, look at that. There's the book as it appeared uh, from the uh, North Carolina to South Carolina with Irene's and Tushar's Rax Museum. This would be the front of the Chalfonette. And there was a luncheonette in there and a drugstore and all. Here's Irene's. Here we come down further on the border right. between India, Illinois, or Illinois and Kentucky where Irene's was located here. You can see the shadow of the train war up in here. So it was before 72? Before 72. This was most likely almost close to in the 50s. You can tell by the style of the clothes that the women have on and these electric carts that they had up there. Now, I might say that that's the new front of the Marlboro when the motel went up along the boardwalk and there was McAvoy's clothing and the Elberon drugstore. Am I correct? That was a block up further. This is between Ohio to oh, from, yeah, it might yeah, be there. From it. Ohio yes. to? From Park Place to Ohio and then here's from Ohio to Michigan. Okay, not the, uh, well, Reese Pally said. Uh, he was in was here in on there? the corner. Yeah. This is where, actually, this scene was in the movie, The King of Marvin Gardens. You can see the dentist here and the Shelburne here. The boardwalk was the place to vacation. Atlantic City always was the playground of the world. There's the way they dressed in, that looks like late 50s, early 60s, right? Huh? It's actually the same shot because here's those awning again, and here's the front of the Marlboro Blenheim and the Shelburne. You can see the Warner Theater right there. That's the boardwalk. And then there's the beach. There's the beach out front, the way it looked. It's yeah. really, that's you can the rent way, them umbrellas, right? You can rent the umbrellas and be out there. There's a classic picture. Is that a lifeguard boat there, or what is that? You got a lifeguard standing boat here. You've got the steeplechase, you got the Haddon Hall. You got the train I Wanted to talk to you main about tent. This. You mentioned those uh, chairs, the electrified chairs. There's they another came, electrified chair. They came to Atlantic City via the uh, New York City World's Fair in 64, a lot of those. Mm -hmm. That's the Deauville West you're looking at, the motel. You can see further west, you can see the La Concha. You can see the La Concha was laid in here. You can see the president down here on Albany Avenue. And you can see the Bulwark rolling chair lanes right. that made a smoother ride for the rolling chair. Yeah, it's bumping this now. Was, this was the Deauville pool. When we were kids and the Democratic National Convention was in town, Jackie Kennedy was staying in the Deauville, and as she pulled up here, a woman ran right through the plate glass window when they had to finally tell people, if you have sliding glass doors, put decals on them. Stickers. Stickers. This is right all the way uptown at South Carolina in the wood. This is when they operated the trams on the board. You can see a long tram here and a long tram here. Now, they kept them up there for years, even knowing that the weight of the tram was destroying the bulwark. They'd give the guy a contract. He'd pay the city 300 grand to run the trams, and the tram would do a million dollars worth of damage every year. So that, they stopped that. This is Childs. 
Yep, Charles was there, and there's a there's park a place. Shot. That's it. That's before the motel that we were just talking about put that front on, right? Right. What happened is in the 50s, they allowed them to build in this section here a big massive swimming pool and a drugstore and a few things to be have boardwalk frontage. But this is boardwalk and park place right here. This is the boardwalk that went back to the Marlboro Blenheim. As you can see the piers in the east up here. Look at the, look at the cabanas. No problem. That's the same shot in Beautiful. front. That's what it looked like. Always the sandwich man back there on them hot summer days and nights in the Marlboro Blenheim. Working in There's the a shot there. from further away. That's the way it appeared. When you came around the corner of Kentucky and Illinois and got by the train and saw this massive expanse of land, this is the way it looked here. Here's the Marlboro Cottage and the Blenheim and the Shelburne and r bicycle riding on the bulwark in the morning from 6 to 10 a.m. It's still a happening. Yeah, well, they should make it 1 a.m. to 10 a.m. Give them midnight give them to half a day. Give them midnight <laughs> to noon and give the others noon to midnight. Right. Uh, share, share the boardwalk. There's another same picture. Here's the classic all-time postcard picture, City of Atlantic City, glossy. That's the standard. This is what set it. You go left to right. You had about nine uh, places here. You had the Warner Theater, you had the Shelburne, the Dennis, the Blenheim, the Marlboro, the Claridge, the Brighton, the Park Lane, the Madison, and the Trainmore, and the Brighton Casino still in here from the 1800s. Closer. There's a closer look at the first four. Shelburne, Dennis, Blenheim, Marlboro House, and then the Claridge got built. And the Michigan to uh, Tennessee uh, stand in here, in this uh, right here. guard stand? There right it here. is, right there, the main tent. Right. Well, we'll keep going, let people see these beautiful photos. Here's Boardwalk and Park Place, the way it appeared in like 52 to 62. It's changed now, eh? There it is. You can see that there's nothing in front here. This is where they added on years later. Because after a few years, back in the 60s, it became impossible to go above the third floor in here. Exactly. It looked like a nice building and all, but actually you could not go above the oh, third yeah. floor. The oh, yeah. standard was real. You couldn't plumb it. You couldn't... Uh, that was the rolling chair ride in there. Right. That was it. That was in trouble. And you notice what happened at the Brighton. The Colony Motel went in. And then, of course, the Claridge is still here. The fountain is still here. Or same area, a little older back, right? Different stuff. All right. Too far back. Same right. thing. Well, that's okay, but uh, the reason I'm showing them is for a reason. Okay, there's from the beach, right? There's how it appeared. and we. What, Way back in here, there was a crosswalk that connected these two here. Then they built another one up closer here. But well, that was their cabanas and beach setup for the Marlboro Blenheim. Well, what I wanted to point out was that you see the Marlboro, the wooden one. Right. Right? There was a big expanse of lawn in front of it. And in front of that lawn, they put this. This is what I wanted to show the people. Motel with a pool. Up here to the Elberon drugstore, different stores, McAvoy's clothing, stuff like that. They put the pool in here and they added, I think, 300 rooms on the front. You can see that the Brighton is gone and the Colony is in, the Claridge, Brighton Park. You can see this piece right here is all they added. What an entrance to the there. Marlboro Blenheim. Turn around entrance in there, and right. there was those uh, crosswalks. Across took, the street first. They took the entrance of the hotel from the Park Place side to the Ohio Avenue side. You came in here like that. Yeah. It's beautiful. Then there it is from another angle where they added the new piece in the front. You can see by the style of the car that you're in the 50s. See the Blenheim there? There's the Blenheim. Let me show you this here. You see this walkway here where the music was and all that came all the way around and right into the Mar uh, Marble, Marble House. across the street. Over the street. Across it's beautiful. The there's where they laid the motel in there like that. Closer look to the side. There it is from the other side. If you remember past shows, this was all lawn. And they got the right to build from the bulwark back, and they laid this motel in here with store frontage on the bulwark. You can see the Million Dollar Pier here, and you can see the expansive beach that went from Mississippi Avenue to Longport. Look at that beach back there. A little different angle, but I have to put it in there. There's how the pool looks. There's where it looked into the street end of the marble It was really cool because when you came in this street, you were in like your own place. There was no one in there but you and who else was in there. It was like a, a, an oasis in the middle of a hustle and bustle in town. All right. We'll move to, that's to the beach end of that, uh, right. up, up Street, Michigan. That's I'm just going to throw them up indiscriminately, all right? There's the Sky Tower. It's gone up halfway up. 
Here's where after the pier got wrecked in 63, they had to take the Marine Ballroom out and they put this, what they called the Golden Dome out there, if people remember that era. Oh well, we just have to just put them up. That's the side of Steel Pier towards Pedestrian and the Strand Presbyterian Theater. Presbyterian Avenue, the Strand Theater, and the Seaside. You can see here, this is the west side of the Steel Pier, which we, the steeplechase would be over here where my pointer is. And this was like almost a private beach between steeplechase and steel. If you worked on the pier, you, were, you knew this side because you came up here and you went through the employee's entrance. No problem. Same boardwalk. There's the boardwalk there. looking east. There's the Strand Theater in there. There's the Strand Theater here. You can't barely see it. We'll move it over. Right there. You can see R.C. Maxwell's up here. You can see that this was planners. You see the Virginia Theater here, you're looking eastbound, and you can see that the performer was who? Paul, Paul Anka. Anka. He's even now at the Hilton, the Grand, or whatever the Golden Nuggets name is. Always in Atlantic City, Paul right. Anka. Here you go. Same pl opposite direction. There's Virginia Avenue looking west from the other side. You can see Frelinger's, Planner's Peanuts. You can see the Haddon Hall up here in the background. Viking Theater. The Viking Theater up here. You can see the steel pier on your left with the General Motors visit. And there's an aerial view. There Look it is. This is, you can date these photos. This is uh, prior, uh, what, post 1963, because the hurricane and the bars that flew through that wiped out the pier, wiped out, you can see all this new modern piece they put in here, and they redid the water circus in the other direction and had it taking place this way rather than the other way. You see the Golden Dome here. You can see the steeplechase. You can see Central Pier. You can see the skyline of Atlantic City looking west. Back to the boardwalk. There's, There's the Virginia Theater. There's Maryland Avenue here. Hey, Lou's Artist Village. Village. Virginia Avenue here. Lou's Artist Village. That was a good thing. Here's Fantasia or Fascination or whatever it was. Remember? Maybe Coors Frozen Custard right. there. Venice Park. Virginia Theater. Frailers. Uh, Harry Ann Bernstein's people uh, right. owned uh, a business in this area. It was great. I was an usher in that movie. You saw Virginia some like it hot until it got... Uh, some didn't like it hot. Right. You saw some like it hot for eight seasons. I think Anthony <laughs> saw the Sound of Music for ten seasons. Here's uh, Merlin Avenue. Where are we at there? We're talking about South, South Carolina. South Carolina and the beach. You can still see the seaside is here, yep. and the Hello. arcade of the Haddon Hall. Wow. You can see the signs, Schmidt signs. That's how the beach was. That beach is packed, whether you know it or not. And it was really nice, South That's Carolina Avenue just Beach. Just coming into bathing suits and stuff and going down to the beach. There it is again. That's out in front of Steel Pier, right? I'm pretty Strand sure that's again. right there. The Strand Theater is right here. Yep. Feeding pigeons. These right, that would be shots. Presbyterian Avenue and the boardwalk. There's boardwalk shots um, anywhere on There's the nice Hartfields. There's a good shot. There's a good shot. This shot you'll see in the movie The Burger with, uh, who was it, Dan DeRay and Jane Mansfield. Because Dan DeRay comes out, out of the Mayflower here and he walks down the boardwalk here. That's the Roxy Theater there. What do you got here? The Grand... Uh, well... It's Sid Hartfield's, the, the Roxy. The Roxy Theater and... Further down. The Grand... Model, what was it? The Grand... I you can't read. Grand Maison Blanche. There you go. Look at that one. There it is in later years. The In these pictures here, the Million Dollar Pier is reaching its uh, zenith. It's over. They're ready to burn this sucker down. Back in the... This is strange the, you should mention that. This, it did burn down. This is the... Uh, everything in this town's burnt down. But the situation is they had guys in the 60s that after a big Easter weekend rode a boat under here and drilled up in, got onto the pier from the water and robbed the pier. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. And if you notice what's happening in this picture is the tramor has been painted gray. Can you imagine how much paint they used on that thing? Boardwalk oh, at boardwalk. New York? Let's see, you got the Apollo, New York Avenue and the boardwalk. That's outside the, what is it? McCoy's. McCoy's where you fed the pigeons. I have a picture I of think that. you have a close-up of this I too. Do. I do. The pigeons. And this is, uh, you can see the tramor dipping right in the back here. I, n I never disliked pigeons or anything, but I never went near them. Mm -hmm. There's someone, a grandfather, going to feed the pigeons with the kids. New York and the Boardwalk. This would be St. James and the Boardwalk, where the Vienna restaurant was. This is the Mayflower's back. You can always see that. It was nice. Every time you turn around, 
Different picture of the bulwark. There's the bulwark at Pennsylvania looking east. You can see the St. Charles here. People will remember these shots. They were up there. Here's Planters Peanuts. There it is at night. Must have been Dean Martin and the Gold Diggers. Yeah, that was his there. girls, right? They were, they were called that, weren't they? Right, the Gold Diggers were from the Dean Martin Variety Show. You're right? just looking east at night. Look at that. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? How about that? Looking towards Steeplechase at... Uh, Mm, off, off to Indiana. Off. Indiana, Illinois. Okay. Right, because here's steeplechase here. Oh, oh no, this would be way, North right. Carolina. This that's would be off the shelf on that's balcony. Okay, good. It takes a while. They're deceiving. I've seen some yep. Avalon and different cities. You think it's Atlantic City, Asbury Park, and all on a postcard? It's and it not. isn't. Look at that. There's what Any people like. on the beach? <laughs> two people on the beach. Look at the, look at the rows of chairs here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. That's look great. That's South Carolina Avenue's main tent, the Child Pavilion, and uh, Brady's Bath Pavilion. Still in here's Woolworths, Longo's Beach Chairs. All right, look at that. There it is. Look at that. Isn't that wild? That's the uh, area of the beach at South Carolina Avenue. We'll just flip through a few. Here. Here's the Sky Tower, the electric chair, <laughs> the electric chair. Here's a good one of the theaters and the signs. Look there at that. it is. You got the Apollo. You can see the Mayflower in the back. It's gone. Here's Central Pier. Here's them silk suits, the disco era for the seniors. All right. Who's that on the left there, the guy, that senator from Illinois or something? Mm, who it is? Anyway, here we go. There's the tram again uh, out in front of the... All right, there's the tram as it ground. came down and destroyed the bulwark every time it went down. It pulled the wood up, and the wood pulled the nails up, and the wood went back down, and the nails stayed up. Brilliant. There's that. Nice. There it is. That's in front of what later became, it was the dentist, which became Valley, which was what, at this time, Tiki Village? Tiki Terrace. Tiki Terrace. The pool was yeah. in the background. I watched the Beach Boys from up here. They played yeah. on the side of Ocean One. It was That's where wild. the coupon passers came in. Mm -hmm. The Bill's Bill Walk and Park Place. Hello. Some people on the beach. How about a closer look? You see that white house before the train were back here? No, over there. That's see open. that? See that? Zero in on it. How's that? That's great. That's yeah. when they painted it gray. It used to, I, we used to walk that at night and on that. That would be a dining room up there and those windows. Up here was a smorgasbord later yeah. on. Here's Wasn't it uh, Perkins or Needlecraft or something like I that? I can't recall. But this is a, a different view there of the it is same again. thing. That train was fantastic, isn't it? The train was huge. If you remember the old pictures, only this piece was on. And then the old place was here. But if you find any cars starting here, with the construction of this building back to here, you've got yourself well, a rail. We were out in Atlantic City walking the beach looking at all the babe. Who's, who's the babe on the rail there? I have no idea. <laughs> but, uh, She's profiling for somebody. This is, Bobby, uh, Rydell. Bobby Rydell was at the pier. You can see that Maxwell's got his billboards up here. You can see the breakers in the St. Charles in the distance. This would be Pennsylvania Avenue and the boardwalk. We don't have a magnifying glass, so we'd tell you what was playing at the movies. Uh, Naked Ridge. Is the name of the movie on there. It must have been important. Same shot. There's the movie again. WFPG. Oh, yeah. Radio, live from Steel Pier. It says it right there. Ted oh, yeah. Davis. There's a shot from the top of the Haddon Hall of Steeplechase and Steel. And you can see how clean the beaches were at that time. Look at this panorama yeah, here. Is it nice. on? Yeah. And look at, look, look, at the, look at the chairs there. Isn't that wild? Different. Different shots. There's the piers again after 63. You can tell it's after 63 because this aluminum type new pier has been put on. Here's Steeplechase, Central, and Million Dollar. And that's the beachfront. Look how wide the beaches were. They're almost out to the middle of the piers. Front of the piers. Same again. Now, that, that classic shot, whenever you see Marilyn Monroe come by waving, yeah. she comes right by this sign here. What were they called? Sack dresses or bag dresses or something these ladies? Sack dresses, they were called. It's 1959 or 60 here, I think. But you could see, when you see that classic shot of Merle Monroe waving, she's going right by this Bosco sign here, Bosco, Bosco Coffee or whatever. And there's a movie in 1930s made about this called Imitation of Life. Not the one that you know, Imitation of Life, the black and white 1920 version of the woman that formed this coffee business on the boardwalk. Yeah. Well, that, that guy looks like the way we used to look back in the this guy? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. We were brunettes. Oh. <laughs> Brown. Those Irene's. Oh, yeah. That was the Borough. That's the way it looked here. This is between Kentucky and Illinois. That's where you got your souvenirs. It's Ed a Devlin it's and um, Debbie Sarkees. Debbie Sarkees. 
Yeah, we there's the way the pavilions went. There's the main tent. There's the child pavilion. What have we got here, though? Hold still. We still got the steel pier. A lot of billboards. I'll leave something to the imagination of the people. Look at that. All right. Is that that groin we don't believe was a groin? We believe was a pier? That's here. In the eight, 1910s and right. stuff? Right. We have pictures where there was a pier here with a Japanese restaurant on it. A pier here. And they here. kept calling it a jetty, but it was really a pier. Well, that's one way to look at it, right? All right. There's the other. That's the other direction. Hello. That's great. That's between Kentucky. Let's pull this over this way. Excuse me. That's from Kentucky to Missouri. There you go. That's the way it went. Look at that boardwalk. Is that beautiful? Oh, I got a good one here. Here's a good one. Here comes one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that shot. Where in the world? What was that? New York Atlantic Avenue City. That's bathroom? the New York Avenue uh, bathroom and pavilion right there. Wow. There's the clock. It's the only clock that was on the beach. It was always, yeah. And the clock was always set wrong. You can see the million dollar pier is still in here. Now, this thing went up in the 1800s yeah. and it's still there in the 70s. Who's this local guy? Hey, that looks like one man who? Who is that? Frank? I don't know. I don't Could know. be anybody. Could be anybody. You yeah. can't beat the fun. There's plenty of it in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Here's three ladies in an electric tram posing for a photo out in front of Irene's. You have the Roxy. What's playing at the Roxy? Up the down staircase. Oh, let's move that in it. What, what do you mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Oh, boy, the postcard is. starts to look better. So right, there's the train where look at the drip castle situation with that. Wasn't that beautiful? That was wild. Those Irene's. This is a good one if you look close at it. There's one. Look at that one. Isn't that wild? There's the South clock Carolina that they never set the time on. I hear you. There's the total wall, the Ferris wheel, the sky tower. There's the sign saying James's and Touchard's Wax Museum. That was a classic shot, the two pavilions, South Carolina's main tent. And that's the way it came down, and that was the way the bulwark left. If we come back this way a little bit, let's see what we got here. I'll put some classic ones in there now. All right. Here that's you go. Cool. Well, these are a bunch of local guys, I'm sure, and that's a beautiful photo. That's a rare one. Come across that. That's when they would let the guys fish, surf fish, whitewater fish off the beach from the coast. Yeah. It's Mr. Kineski and his, uh, what do they call them, anglers, I guess they Anglers, called? yeah. And they would get out in front of Convention surf. Hall there, surf fishermen, and they would fish off the surf, which is really strange fishing. And you can see the Traymore in Shelburne. And the Roxy Theater went down. And they opened it up as the Wizard of Oz, land the Land of Oz. Oz. Here's still Irene's. This would be Kentucky to Illinois, uh, Kentucky to New York Avenue. Kentucky to New York, how about Illinois to Indiana on that one? There is... Illinois to Indiana. Illinois to Indiana. How the other way? Illinois, Illinois to Indiana. To Indiana. Okay. What do you got? Kent's here on the boardwalk. Yeah, there was a lot of good ones Kent's. in there. Further from the... That's earlier in the 50s, but that's from the park place looking east towards the train more. Right, you can still see that the Brighton... The Brighton is in here. Where is it at? Hold still. The Brighton's in there? Oh, yeah, watch out. Here it comes. There There's it the is. Brighton right there. All right. It led to the Brighton Casino. Now, I'll tell you this. Who's got a good eye? Is that Atlantic City? And why isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry. I gave away the answer. Why <laughs> isn't it? It's because it doesn't say Atlantic City on the, on the lifeguard boat. Right. And there's no pier to right. the left. Wow. Yeah, that's Wildwood or somewhere. That's not here at all. Is this, is this Atlantic City? We have a couple minutes left. That is Atlantic City. Okay. And where do you think that's at? That's Illinois Avenue. No. That's where you say it is. Uh, Got a little jetty on it. Oh, I'd say this is Maryland Avenue. It's that far up? Okay. Yeah, it's that far up. This would be Maryland? the gas chamber that the surfers called later, later years. Yeah. Well, let's look here now. There's a little jetty just to the north of that one that's right there, maybe. Oh, that's huh? pretty big. Oh. Oh, this little one yeah. here. Couldn't Could it be, be right behind us? Could be. See, you got to study postcards. It's great to do. Now, this is the old steel pier. This is prior to 63. We can tell you why. If we can get the steel pier in it just a little bit here, you can see it up here in this corner. It's the old, oh, it's, it's the old, the car, yeah, yeah. it's the old marine ballroom and the old boardwalk that was on the west side of the pier. When you were out there at night, it was really neat. And you have a little central pier here. This jetty, we told you years ago, may not have been a jetty. It may have been a pier. Okay, what there we're going to do is we only have a minute or so left. You can come back to us and we'll, we'll show you this same scene. Yeah, the same scene behind again. us last year. Oh, yeah. Where was it? Oh, it's so far up. It's covered. 
Oh, it's covered. Yeah, well, that's right. The this first. is the modern Atlantic City here. Right. With the new dark roof on the convention center. The only thing old still hanging is the Ritz. Well, this is pretty recent because uh, I don't there's, think there's the railroad off. station. That's off, right? Now yeah, the railroad station's here. Well, well, this is what we come to you for during the postcard show. This is now the Hilton. This is a condominium place. This is a Tropicana. This is the Ritz. This block is up. These blocks are up. This is Trump's new place, one, two, and the convention hall, and the Holiday Inn is all. New York has its lady, San Francisco the Bay. Paris has its tower, London its queen. Town I was born in might change from old to new. That's something I must tell you. I've got sand in my shoes. I'll never leave Atlantic City. I'll never go. Too far away I'll never leave Atlantic City On the boardwalk the song People come every day Take in the sun and Walk on its beaches Might ride in rolling chairs when they look at the brand new Think of the old days Things they used to do Atlantic City My own town I won't forget Atlantic City I'll never leave